Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a very exciting video for a lot of you. I hope this will be a decisive um, conclusion as to whether or not this is a legitimate product for you. Um, but I also understand that I'm diving into waters that some people may not especially enjoy. So we'll talk about that all in this review. But today I'm going to be doing a quick synopsis of the Choby RMS Titanic. This is specifically the executive edition. There are three different models, one of them being just the normal historical edition, which I think is about 600 pieces. Uh, the executive edition, which we're looking at today, this has about 1,000 pieces. And then there's a massive a scale model, which I believe has around 2,000 pieces. I may be wrong on that, but a lot to choose from here at different price points. So before we get too deep into this review, I want to just get this out of the way and uh, we'll talk about it at the end of the video as well. But Choby is not fake Lego. Choby is their own brand of building blocks. It is similar to Lego, but it is not Lego products. So if that's an automatic turnoff for some of you, um, that's kind of you know where we stand. Uh, from building it and you know, experiencing it and displaying it. I have not had any problems with this model as far as anything. And uh, I, the one thing I will tell you is the clutch power of the bricks I noticed was pretty strong. So that is something to keep in mind. But in general, I've been very happy with this. Um, and in particular, because of the price, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Um, but just to get that out of the way, Choby is there own building system it is not fake lego it is not lepin lepin is fake lego that is a direct copy of lego's ip and product this is similar to lego but it is its own building system so with that out of the way uh, let's dive into this review here okay guys so taking a look at the box really quickly here we have 960 pieces it is a 1 to 450 scale which is pretty interesting to actually tell you that um, but yeah, you can see it's the executive edition. Um, turning it around, we'll, actually, we'll take a look at the top first. There's some really interesting historical uh, things as you go around the box, like a picture of the Titanic at its port, which I thought was pretty neat. And then the back here has just got some more stuff. We've got um, a letter uh, with some facts on it. I apologize for the glare, uh, but if you want, you can read that in your own time. Um, there's some stuff. Down there, it shows the plaque, the model itself. It does have the dimensions, which you can see it is uh, just over two feet long. And then the side of the box, you can see it gives you a top view. Um, so yeah, nothing nothing too special there. Uh, the one thing I do wanna make point of though is the instruction booklet. Alrighty, so here's the instruction booklet. Now, the only reason why I'm bringing this out is because the way Choby does their instruction booklets is a little bit different than Legos, so I'll just open up to a random page here. You can see kind of what it looks like. We've got the parts, and one thing that they do with their instructions is they kind of gray out the parts that you're not working on. So you get to focus on the pieces that you have. So like for this one, you get five of those parts, right? And then you can see them over there. But the issue when you're building for some people could be the fact that you don't know like, you know, the surrounding pieces and the colors. And I do find that helpful on Lego instructions. It didn't bother me too much. There were a couple times when I really had to do a double check and, you know, figure that out. But in general, it wasn't too bad. The, um, the instructions, you know, here's the parts list in the back. Uh, the instructions weren't too difficult to follow. Uh, it is just something to note that they are different and um, it is something to keep in mind. So one instruction booklet. Uh, you do get some extra pieces because this is actually a modification of the, uh, the historical edition. Basically it's got the, the pieces in the front and the back that extend the, the red section down there. Um, but you can see just through the bag, the pieces are different. Um, and another thing to note is there are some interesting pieces you'll find in here. Like this is a one by five plate and Lego doesn't do those. Um, so definitely pay attention uh, when you're doing the instructions because there are some differences to Lego building styles and 
it is something to make a note of. Okay guys, so taking a look at the Titanic itself. Now one thing to note here is, no, it does not come with an iceberg. And um, I don't think it needs an iceberg. I think Lego and Choby both got it right with this, just giving you the ship. I have seen models online where you can actually buy it with the iceberg, but it shouldn't be the main attraction, right? You know, the, the main focus of the Titanic is the engineering of the ship itself. So um, that's one of the reasons why I've always been fascinated with it. And I was, you know, this is a set that I felt like should have been in Lego form a long time ago. And the fact that, you know, it, it was available, it was really exciting. But the $630 price tag was a major turnoff for me. I just couldn't invest that much money, uh, at least at this stage in my life, for something that honestly doesn't even fit in my room. So <laughs> this is a great compromise. Just under $100. I bought this on eBay. And it is a European-based company, so I don't know where their website, you know, ships from. I believe it's somewhere uh, in the UK. I may be wrong on that. I'll put a link in the description to it. But I bought this on eBay from a US seller. Um, so that is just something to keep in mind. Um, but, you know, taking a look at the details around the front here, you can see there's all of these awesome um, printed or detailed uh, things on the pieces here. And everything that you see, you know, that looks like a sticker is a printed piece on this set. There are no stickers. So this is printed. This thing in the front, Titanic, is printed. All of these little dots here are printed. The little, you know, the portholes and everything, the windows, those are all printed, which I am super happy with. That was actually one of the main reasons why I decided to buy this was because they were all printed pieces and I didn't have to deal with the stickers. So I really appreciate that. And I'm sure many of you will as well. I just wanna mainly make this review so you can make you know an educated decision on to whether you wanna buy this or the official Lego version. Just give you an overview. Again, I don't know you know all the terminology and the, the parts of the ship. We got the three flags here which look great. Those are all printed, both sides actually, which is pretty neat. The uh, pieces are printed on the front and the back. Uh, it is completely symmetrical for the most part, at least to my knowledge, it was completely symmetrical. So it is, you know, it's something to keep in mind if you do, if you don't love repetitive building process, you know, type builds, this is not too bad there are, you know the instructions actually goes out of its way to make the build a little bit more enjoyable but for the most part you know it is symmetrical on both sides um this moves on the back here i believe that's the rudder and then the the fins down here these do not move or they're not really supposed to i guess but um, they look very nice and in general the shaping along the bottom of the ship is just fantastic i really love the color scheme and here's the plaque, it says RMS Titanic scale 1 to 450, which is pretty nice. Um, this is not too heavy. In fact, I don't even consider it heavy. You know, it's it's about what you would expect for a thousand piece set. A um, couple things about the build process. The, the complaints that I had while I was building this. So the main thing that really, um, there were two main things that really bothered me. One of them being the super small pieces. There are some extremely small pieces in this set, and a couple of them are up front here with the um, the anchor and the chains. You have to actually attach the chains together, so that was a little bit annoying. Um, the other thing, I know there was just some smaller pieces in general, like if you can see these, um, these two black dots right here, these were really, really small as well. There's just a lot of small pieces, smaller than even like Lego standards. So it is something to keep in mind when you are building this. Um, and just be aware that there are some very small pieces. Important to point that out. The other thing is I'm not a huge fan of the string of, you know, the way it's set up is fine. But in general, when I'm building Lego sets, I don't love attaching the string myself. It's just I find it annoying. It's a very minor complaint, but you know, in general, this is a pretty good 
set. Another thing about the building process is that it comes with three numbered bags and they are sorted out relatively nicely. They're by color, some of them, and then others just by piece, you know, piece count, whatever. I thought it was okay. They're not as, you know, um, sequential as like the official Lego building process. So this one, you will have to sort it out a little bit. It might take a little bit longer time to find the parts. That's a minor nitpick in my opinion, but it is something to note. And the quality of the bricks is another thing I did want to talk about. It is what I consider to be still strong and good quality. I know some people have preferences and I for sure, uh, you know, when possible, I will buy a Lego set as my first choice because it is typically the highest quality brick building, you know, system out there. With that being said, I thought the quality of this product was very good. I enjoyed the build and the way the things were assembled. There wasn't any, you know, ridiculous building techniques. It was pretty straightforward and, you know, felt like the pieces were supposed to go together, you know, that sort of thing. So that was really satisfying. And um, this in general was my best experience with an off-brand Lego product. I want to wrap it up by saying, you know, if you are a Lego purist and you try to really remain as true to that as possible, uh, it is something to note that maybe you would like to save up for the $600 Titanic and buy that at some point. It's it's incredible set and there's no denying that it's just for a lot of people that $600 price tag is going to be so far out of reach and it just is not a sensible purchase for I would say the majority of people um, whereas this is much smaller you know it's still two feet long it's it's pretty big in that respect but you know in comparison to the official Lego version it is a much better size it's a much better scale um, and I will show you it just you know where I display it and how it looks on display um, in general, I'm very happy with this thing, and I, you know, at some point, if I do get a chance to buy the the UCS Titanic uh, later in my life, then it is a possibility. But for now, this is much, you know, much better for my collection. So I would say, as long as you're aware of the things I've mentioned in this review and you're okay with that. I would fully recommend this to anybody because of its value. It's it's just a great product. Um, and again, I, I literally have no affiliation with Choby or whatever. Um, one thing to note for what it's worth, you know, Jang Bricks has built this Choby Titanic. I think he actually built the biggest one that they have available, but he did a live stream and um, he actually likes you know, this product, this Joby brand. So for what it's worth, you know, because he is a reputable um, and respected member of the Lego community, this is a strong substitute for the Lego Titanic. So guys, I think that is going to wrap up today's review. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that if you decide to buy this, you enjoy it as much as I do. Um, if maybe you decide you want to save up for the Lego Titanic instead, I still think both are fantastic options, really just for different, you know, uh, collector types. You know, this, I think, is going to appeal to the masses, whereas the the uh, Lego version is definitely going to be for those hardcore fans. Um, but I think with this one, if, you, you know, for people who appreciate the Titanic and want to have a model on display, this is a really, really great option. I'll try to put a link in the description if I can find a listing for this. Uh, but otherwise, just look around on their website or on eBay for this item. Uh, make sure you buy the right version. Like I said, there are three different versions and uh, based on their piece count and everything. So this is the executive model. Um, it is basically an extension or an add-on to the smaller version. So this was a little bit of a different video for my channel, but it was one that I wanted to make as I had a pretty good experience with it. And I figured there'd be a lot of people that would benefit from seeing a review like this. So again, if it helped you out in any way, a like would be greatly appreciated. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you guys next time.